When the Denver Broncos were coming off a two-game win streak and had the Kansas City Chiefs coming to town, you could argue that they shouldn't make certain veterans available for a trade prior to the October 29th trade deadline. With the loss, there is a huge attitude change coming from within the building. Before, they were hopeful they could win that game and get right back in the AFC West division. Since the loss, there isn't much hope left for the season and many players are not happy. A lot of these players are veterans that are in the twilight of their careers and want to be part of a winning team. The deadline is coming up quickly and the Denver Broncos need to make certain veterans available. There are a couple that come to mind specifically and if Broncos have an opportunity, they need to take it. Emmanuel Sanders is unhappy and he wants out. He has made that known privately and publicly. There is some doubt about his knee injury being a real injury. See the Jalen Ramsey situation with his back. Sanders is a competitor, and so being on a losing team does not sit well with him. He is becoming an issue in the locker room, and the Denver Broncos have to move him before he fully infects the minds of young offensive weapons on the roster like Cortland Sutton and Philip Lindsay. Because he has 10 accrued seasons in the NFL, Sanders could only net the Broncos a max of a 5th round compensatory pick. So if they can get a 4th, or the third they're asking for, it is a huge win for the Denver Broncos. Another player is cornerback Chris Harris. He is unhappy about being on a losing team as well. He has been for years and has started to make noise about it in recent years. While he is a fan favorite, Denver isn't a competitor. They did right by him by adjusting his contract and paying him more money this year, and it's time to do right by him again and ship him off to a team that can contend. For Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Eric Trickle.